So it'll be Commando Delta on the attack on residential and Chimera Crew on the defense. Residentials up next. Yeah, both teams are ready. Let's go ahead and get it going. It is Residential House, game number three. Commando Delta still looking for their first win. And as I mentioned before, Commando Delta is Hendrix Flex, Artists and Intex and Crusader 72. Chimera Crew is Johansson, Ganon, Techno, Zikot, and Le Soup de Fromage. It's the best French I can do, Techno. Sorry if I messed it up. <laughs> Anyone who's watched the streams, uh, Ganon's uh, streams, or uh, a little bit, it came out on mine, you know, this, this Use the planning whole thing. Off. I learned that fromage means cheese. So there's that. And when Commando Delta speaks uh, German, uh, as, as we heard him like, deciding on the map ban, I kind of wish, I, I believe um, uh, that Merrick speaks. Uh, German, or understands it at least. Uh, just curious to know, like, what their thought process is. Artist is. Is he trying to get like this just the, the skinniest gap to try to look through there? Oh, thanks guys, Rostick and Poseidon. Thanks for coming in and watching too. Got ourselves the final game of the day. Uh, Ganon will get Nintex on the push in. It is. They want to even it up here. Oh, Ganon gets down to one health and gets flex. One health. Oh, they almost had him. Artist is going to come in through the second floor, try to come up through the top. Uh, Techno will get Hendrix with the nade up front. So Crusader's still watching the hard angle there. Crusader has not moved. Trying to really hold that spot. You can see he goes all the way back to the 90 angle. He could see that. But uh, now Crusader is going to move around to the front storage. Up there is somebody who I can't find. Oh, actually, no, because that's... Uh, who is that? That's Le Soup de Fromage. Actually, who's on the other side of the wall. And Otechno will get Artis as he pushes down the stairs. And Crusader misses uh, seeing somebody in the hall there, but has to rush out to get to avoid the nade anyway. Techno will push in on Crusader, now coming around and gets Crusader with that AS Val. And we take a look at this tight, tight angle that Ganon got with 100 health, and he got taken down to just one. Just getting flexed there. That was so close. 
Ganon and Techno got uh, five kills taken out Commando Delta. No one from Chimera Crew getting killed. Gotta love the damage counter in this game. It says Flex has uh, 97 damage, but we clearly saw Ganon with one, <laughs> with one HP left. <laughs> And this is why, uh, even when we look at this, we, we keep track of damage, but it's basically meaningless for... It, it, it's it's only good to get a general sense of how good someone is at, you know, aiming their targets down compared to everyone else. But otherwise, you, you can't really... you got to take that number with a grain of salt. Blind fire um, KD is uh, through the kitchen window. Hendrix is pushing up with the shield. It's already down to 66 health. Hendrix has sights on the guy on the ground there, trying to avoid. That's Johansson, just uh, trying to avoid the shots coming in from the window. While also just not bothering to take shots at the end of the hall. Then, oh, turning right is Hendrix, and Ganon will get the kill as Hendrix turns right. And Flex is on top of Zcot to get the kill as Crus uh, uh, Crusader gets taken out by Techno. And Nintex comes up and gets Techno. On did, did Techno get flashed? I think Techno got flashed, and Nintex got the kill. Flex mid throw and handles that nade. Ganon will get the kill on Nintex. Just 2v3. Ooh, and Artist just gets Ganon this time. Flex did a lot of damage against Ganon uh, before, but then gets taken out by Johansson here. Um, in the previous round, an Artist will get that kill on Ganon. Uh, Ganon didn't really give much butt the head to show. So, I mean, you, you've got to hit that. You're aiming at him, and Artist gets flashed as he pushes out, as do we. I imagine he's backing up right now. Literally imagining. And Le Soup de Fromage expecting a push in, not realizing Artist is flashed. Coming out to peak. Gets Artist down to 50 health, shooting through the smoke. And gets naded by Johansson. Your crew will take round number two. And looking at this kill here uh, from Flex on Ganon, you see he, he pushed into showcase. He just didn't you know, get through there aggressively enough. Uh, oh, Susan, that's artist. Uh, yeah, th th and that's kind of been the story with Commando Delta, always being careful to come in, and and then they just hang out and in the same area long enough to make it uh, easier for the defenders to get the kills. Um, you know, but Commando Delta, they, they're, like I said, a, not a new team to the game, but maybe new from facing these particular opponents or learning their uh, who their challengers are. Ganon and Techno both with four kills in this game. Zcot with the sawed off shotgun. And they're going to choose the second floor hall for the objective. It's a very open space and really tough to kind of get into on the attack. You've got these long sights, and it's, it's really difficult to enforce on the defense. If one side goes down, the other side can't really help. But the key to the second floor is going to be for the attackers to pick off the defense one at a time. And uh, you see here that for Chimera crew, they're divided three on one side, two on the other. Most of the defense is on the side with the windows where Elder's room and the master bedroom is. Chimera crew is going to give up the main stairs. No one's even going to cover that. Um, which, you know, there's not really much of a need to cover the main stairs because you, you have the whole 
attacking team gathered at that choke point if they do take that. And Techno goes down to 46 health. Artist, a lot of good hits on there with that scar. And Zcot will take out Nintex. Now he's aggressively pushing up in the middle of the hall because no one's on the repel, so no one will see that Zcot is is uh, out in the in the hallway there. Who throws an eight out? That might be enough to get the double kill on Artist and Hendrix. And oh, Ganon will take out Crusader. Looks like an explosive took out Ganon though. Those self kills and uh, team kills sometimes don't show up until after the round is over. Yeah, the suicides and friendly fire sometimes. Oh, there we go. Zcot. Yeah, Flex just reported it, so we we can see it now. Zcot believe that was a kill on himself, and Ganon with the door trap. And Techno gets Flex. Woo! There was not much to look at there, and but it was enough for Techno to see. Techno and Ganon, five and five for uh, both of them with five kills. Two thirds of the kills for Chimera Crew between those two. Commando Delta now on the defense. This is where they're stronger uh, as a team. We'll see if they can hold back Chimera Crew using first floor kitchen. Ganon has the shield. You can count on that about as much as you can count that Chimera crew will always keep banning Hotel Trouble. <laughs> Ganon's one that he usually picks up his weapon in as he, uh, for the spawn. Nintex will take out Techno after Johansson gets the kill. I believe that was on Hendrix. So it's a 4v4. The Chimera crew has relocated to power, moving together as an element. Nintex is uh, just at the 90, and he's going to actually get out of the hall entirely and close the door. Zcot will... Oh! Gets killed by Crusader's sawed-off shotgun and Crusader's flash, but he's basically safe now with the uh, Chimera crew all at the bottom of the power stairs. Wow! Nice one. Yeah, sound alerts are turned off. I really don't know why it keeps letting you do it. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, it's costing you channel points, and I can't refund channel points on sound alerts. I just don't know why. It's supposed to work where it doesn't take your channel points, and Ganon will go ahead and charge up here and miss the first on Nintex, but gets the second one. Evening it up 3v3. Johansson's holding the tight angle there towards 90. Le Soup de Fromage is holding a store, uh, or, or the 90 angle from uh, the storage. So there's two people watching 90. As Ganon will now start to make the push in himself. Flex just might see enough of Le Soup de Fromage or Ganon. One of them are going to be coming out soon enough. Artist and crew say everyone's looking at 90. No one's going in there. That's almost like a no man's land at this point with all the eyes that are looking at it. And Flex will pick off Ganon there! Who might have just been swapping out his shield for a weapon. Down to 28 health now. The suit de fromage is still at full health. No one really got him. This is a long play. Closing the door. Flex will continue to take shots all the way down there. Le Soup de Fromage is going to... I thought maybe he might have been going for power for a second there, but it looks like he wants to relocate all the way around, going to the backside uh, outside of the kitchen window. Johansson starts to push in through drawing room into office. And now Flex is running away. He's down to four health. And Artist uh, will fire back to the outside. Le Soup de Fromage 
was firing in and just got flex enough that, that he's, he's barely holding on. Artist will get the kill on Johansson. And on the push is Latouk the Fromage from the backside to get Crusader out in the hall. It's 1v2. Artist will be the first one to go up against Latouk the Fromage. Just getting out of... Oh! Avoiding the nade, but not avoiding the blind fire through the windows. Flex coming around again. Let's shoot the fromage in the round as well. And Ganon has six kills, and Techno has five kills. Between the two of them, Ganon's the only one that picked up a kill there, and it was really down to how Commando Delta started to actually pick off these guys on the attack. Very well done, Defensive Commando Delta, and that is kind of their strongest, you know, position. If you take a look at their record uh, and on their attacks versus defenses, Commando Delta is very good on defenses uh, compared to their attacks. Their attacks are, are, are one of their weaker spots. Sorry, I just had to fix this cam that keeps going out. Uh, looks like Ganon will get Hendrix, presumably with the shield, and getting back as Lesoup de Fromage, or taking out his teammate as Lesoup de Fromage. Also took out somebody, and Crusader's got a nade ready to go. And this is always one of the interesting things to me about this map, is how there's a door there. From the living room into a Z-Cot will pick up a kill there through a uh, showcase to get an Intex. But there's a there's a door there and there's like a spot that looks like there should be a window, but it's actually just open all the time and you can throw a nade through it. One of the interesting features of this map is how that works. Uh, Artist is in maids. He's going to cross over to kitchen and just blind fire down the hall. Nobody is going to be there at the end. Z-Cot will try to blind fire into showcase the entrance to showcase from uh or, or rather to maids from showcase is blocked look at that shot johansson would have been dead with that headshot zcot will get artist and zcot gets the kill there to, to end the round All's quiet over there. KD land. Ganon with seven kills there. Just keeps racking it up. And Techno and Zcot also with uh just six kills really high there on the on the KDR. Well, next week. The season continues into week four. It'll be Commando Delta at 1-9. That is the first game, 2 p.m. Eastern. And for Chimera Crew, they will be facing Mob at 3.30 Eastern. That is next week. Week number four, season continues there. Check out the uh, Gilded. All the details will always be in there. Exclamation point IEL to get the link for the Gilded. And once again, pushing in with the shield. Zcot will take care of the 90 cam. There's a flare out there, which is really blinding. Uh, C2 charge for Ganon to push in. Who is that on stairs? That's Hendrix out there on the stairs. Rushing to avoid the nade. Sawed off shotgun can't do anything with against that shield. Nade is out and Hendrix will avoid it going all the way up to the top. Trying to find a better angle.
And we see a Techno, he will blast open the drawing room door. Ganon's gonna push up against Hendrix. And Hendrix is not looking! Just gets there in time against Ganon! Oh! What a shot! Johansson is ready for Hendrix to push back down through the window. I don't think Hendrix will expect this. And, ooh, Hendrix is down And Techno will pick up a kill here. Uh, Zcot as well getting Crusader. Where are these guys at? Here we go, Zcot. Zcot's now gonna throw a nade into Showcase. And that's not gonna get anybody. Hendrix, though, coming back to get Johansson. Initially hurt by him. Will not get Z. He does trade with Zcot. Wow. Techno will start the defuse, and Le Soup de Fromage catches Nintec on the push in, and Artis will get taken out by Techno on the objective. That is game done. Round number six for Chimera Crew. And Chimera Crew still is undefeated in the league. What a tough team to go up against.